The Arizona Department of Health says that the number of deaths being investigated as heat related is double where it was last year at this time. 12 News journalist William Pitts is breaking down the numbers in the zip code with the most heat related deaths so far this year. This is 85210. It's a zip code that follows Highway 87 from downtown Mesa down past the 60. That's where the county says we've had the most heat related deaths so far this year. Right now it's three, but that's the most in any zip code in Arizona and officials say one is too many. Just because we manage emergencies doesn't mean that we don't prepare for it. So a lot of our job is to prepare for this. Heat isn't a monsoon storm or a flood. Mesa's emergency manager Robert Campa is treating it like any other natural disaster. It's a whole different element. It's a whole different ballgame. Obviously heat is not new to us here. And city officials say they're not surprised that 85210 is at the top of the list. We've seen activity there before and it was on the map last year as well as some other areas. The map is from the State Department of Health tracking heat related deaths and injuries. This time last year Arizona had 18 confirmed deaths and 168 under investigation. This year it's double that 322 under investigation. Phoenix still has the most heat deaths citywide this year and last year and the state health department data breaks them down by drug use, whether the person is homeless, whether their air conditioning is broken or turned off. Basically, heat is a compounding factor, making all those social issues worse. When we look at our heat season, we know that that um, impact is going to be added to everyone's problems. Maricopa County's assistant medical director says the best explanation for why there are so many heat related deaths under investigation is that summer got worse. We know that June was hotter than June last year. And we know that the risk for heat related death increases with those higher temperatures. So we're talking about that data frequently. Our mayor and council are looking at it regularly to um, help make decisions. They've provided more funding for us to do all this because of that data. The city of Mesa says it's doing what it can, even going out and buying portable air conditioners that the city loans out to people who need them something they've never done before. Yeah, so it's a new program. Obviously, we're building the plane as we as we fly it. With months of dangerous heat still ahead. In Mesa, William Pitts, 12 News.